How to fix RAND grid dot SYS BSOD error in Windows 11. Hello friends, when trying to launch the Call of Duty series, you may encounter RAND grid dot SYS BSOD error. But don't worry, follow the steps to fix it. The first step is delete the corrupted file. Go to the Steam library. For this, click on a File Explorer icon from the taskbar. On my computer, this is located in D drive. Generally, this is located in C drive. Program data or program file 686 folder. On my computer, it is installed in D drive. Here I will find Steam library. This one. Open this folder. Then open Steam apps folder. Go to common folder and go to Call of Duty HQ. Here you will find randgrid.sys along with multiple files and folders. Select this folder and click on delete. Then close the file explorer and restart your computer. Step 2 is scan for viruses and malware. Click on start. Select settings. Go to privacy and security. Windows security. Click on virus and threat protection. Here click on uh, scan options. Select full scan. Click on a scan now. The system will check for malware or virus and send you notification in the end. If any threat is found, follow the recommendation sent by the notification. Restart your computer and see if the VSOD is fixed. Step 3 is run SFC and DISM scans. Click on search, type CMD. Right click on command prompt, select run as administrator. Click on yes. These command lines are given in the video description. Copy the system files checker command. Paste into the command prompt and hit enter. Copy the first command for check health. Paste into the command prompt, hit enter. Copy the second command for scan health. Paste into the command prompt. Hit enter. Copy the third line. Paste into the command prompt and hit enter. After the scanning is completed, restart your computer. And check if the BSOD is solved. The next method is uninstall recently install updates. Click on start, click on settings, go to Windows update, click on update history, scroll down. Click on uninstall updates. Find the recently installed update in the list. If recently any update is installed, click on uninstall and select uninstall again on the pop up. The last one is install pending updates. 
click on the windows icon select settings click on windows update and click on check for updates if any update is downloaded restart your computer when you are asked that's all friends thanks for watching the video